pulling the gadget cushion from Quilt Smart. This is a fun little tool, uh, gim uh, I don't want to call it a notion that you can stick your camera right here. And since I'm recording from my camera, I can't stick my camera there. Um, but anyway, you stick your camera right there and it does have places for you to hold your wires for charging as well. These make great holiday gifts because they only take about 10 inches of fabric, a fusible, and some, um, in this one I have uh, walnut, crushed walnut shells in this. So let's get started. So the first thing you can do is get a panel of the with the gadget cushion. We do sell these, the link is below in the video. And you get enough in a panel to make two of these little gadget cushions. And again, you only need a 10 inch square to make both of them. Perfect for leftovers of your um, layer cakes you might have, or if you have lots of scraps you want to work through, it's perfect. So let's talk about the pattern a little bit. You can um, download uh, the PDF of this as well, because sometimes it gets printed and the, the writing is a little harder to read. I'll put a link in the description below for that as well. Um, and what's uh, a couple things about this pattern is you're going to see dashed lines that have little scissors it is your cutting spot and where you see the solid line that is your sewing spot and on this particular pattern we have a we have b there we go b and then we also have c so we have three different stitch lines that we're going to focus on to create the body now it also has in here these these strips right here are tab strips um i don't make mine for uh because I just think they're more cumbersome. But if you are a person that likes to have a, a stand that holds your wires as you're charging, you can put tabs around the, the piece as well. You need to finish up the tabs first, and then you're gonna place them. So like there's some placement lines on here as well. Um, there's three of them. There's one here, and there's two over here. Actually, there's an, uh, another one here. So there's four, and you can get four out of these two little long strips here. So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to press it on the back of a 10 inch square. This is the, on the wrong side of the fabric. When you, you are pressing, make sure you're lifting your iron up and then putting it down. Do not take the iron and just slide all over because that's going to slide your um, fusible. It's more likely to tear. I do encourage you to use either a pressing sheet or uh, an applique pressing sheet or a... Um, parchment paper so you don't get any of the fusible on your iron or iron your ironing board so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and press this down and then if you want to do your tabs you're going to cut those out and sew them and they're going to make them little tubes so there's two spaces here you have to cut them sew them to turn them inside out and then you press them down and stitch them and then we'll put them in these spots here and then once you've done that, we're going to sew our first section. So we're going to do the A's first. So we're going to fold this in half. Just like that. I would put a pin here. And just see where that, that, that dark uh, spot is. You're going to start there. Back stitch. It's very important. Back stitch. And then go all the way over. And I do back stitch on the end there as well. And then I'm going to go do that really quick under the needle and I'll come right back and show you what that looks like because I'm going to go step by step as we do this. I shall be right back. Okay, so I've been, I did go into my sewing machine and I stitched um, from on a line A um, of the little black dot all the way down and I back stitched on both ends. And along was there, I went ahead and did B as well. So B starts actually here on the side with the dot and you pivot and turn and come down this way. So just, those are the first two lines. Now you see here, these lines are more uh, lines for, we're gonna stitch on the outside of this to hold the, our, um, our uh, stuffing or walnut shells or whatever you wanted to put in that. Um, so we need those lines to kind of show for the front. What I, I tend to do is just snip a little bit into the salvage, just so I have a reference point. And you're supposed to mark them on the other side, but we, you know, it's a, it's two inch, it's an inch and I think it's two inches actually. It's two inches from this point to this point, so that might help you as well when we turn it inside out. So now we've got those two stitch lines down. We got to do this last one over here. That's number C. Now, again, there are placement um, um, places for the straps. If you want to put them on you, or on your gadget cushion, you can. Um, I, again, I don't do it. I don't, I just don't feel a need, but you're totally welcome to do that. And that's where these are here. You stick up, you pin it on the inside, and then you're going to go to your sewing machine and stitch it. 
but not like this. This is where the magic comes. This is how we get that triangle shape out of it. We're actually gonna fold this in half. You have this dotted line here, which is the center line, and we're gonna put match it up to that seam that we made with the A. And it doesn't, and you can press your, you can put your, your uh, seam to the left or to the right, it doesn't matter, or flatten it out. But we're going to fold this in half now. And look, it says top opening, it's right there. So what we're going to do is again, find um, our C line and we are going to stitch across, all the way across. Now that she does have another line here, that's the basting line for your tab. So if you don't get too confused on that. So we're going to stitch across and I do cover, um, the seam allowance, oops, I'm sorry, my camera, I'm not paying attention to my camera, uh, uh, so seam allowance. So here's the C line. You see what I did? So this is what we just sewed, B and A. I'm gonna open this piece up here and lay it flat against that dotted center line with my seam and it says top opening. And then I'm going to stitch from here to here. And then once I do that, I'm gonna turn it inside out. Let me find my other little piece here. And this is what's going to look like. So I've got this little flappy piece. Um, I have gone ahead and measured uh, uh, two inches up. Actually, I think I did this one in an inch and a half because I like the little smaller base. And I sewed a half inch apart, two seam lines. Can you guys see that? So this from here to here is about an inch and a half. And then I stitched one line and then half inch up and I did the second one. So I still have this hole here where I can feel it now. And on this one, uh, there is a hole here where we, between B and A, that we fill up this one and we hand stitch it closed and you'll hand stitch this one closed. And you can see how I, I've kind of folded under the seam allowance. So when I get ready to hand stitch it, it'll, it will match up nicely. Now the key is, is using a funnel. I recommend, I do like, um, I do prefer walnut shells. And if you're thinking where to get those, Go to a pet supply store, you get a five pound, five pound bag for, you know, $10, $20, and you can fill up tons of these. I put about a cup of filler in this of walnut shells. Um, you can use pellets as well, uh, or you can even use stuffing or uh, scraps of fabric or bag, whatever you want to make it as firm as you want. That's the other thing, you know, that's why I do like the walnuts uh, shells better because they, um, you can do firm a, a different firmness or level, but I do like them pretty firm. So it holds my phone up right down front. You can use rice as well. There's all sorts of things you can use inside. Um, I stay away from food typically because um, it brings in bugs as well. So, but that is your gadget cushion. It is super simple and you could be making a whole bunch of these for the holidays and getting ready to gift them out and find your favorite fabric to go with your favorite person. Um, and that is a gadget cushion again by quilt smart. We have these in stock and ready for you to make two in each, each panel. I'll put that link below. If you have any questions, just leave a comment in the, uh, in the, below the video and, uh, you guys have a great day. Thank you. And remember we are friends, fibers and fun.